$195 for a lipstick. Inside this bag, I got the most expensive Chanel lipstick. And you know, my friends, I am a lipstick lover. It's perhaps one of my favorite makeup products. And as soon as I saw the 31 Le Rouge lipstick from Chanel, I went like, oh this is a new formula i really want to get it and then i face it that these lipsticks cost 195 dollars a piece they do come in refills for 80 dollars a piece and there is a limited edition coffret which comes with three total lipsticks two in the refill format and then one with the glass case yes because these lipsticks are encased with a glass casing that looks stunning i mean i'm gonna show you everything right now okay <laughs> wait a second wait a second but this lipstick coffret also comes with a leather pouch and you can actually select which leather sleeve will you like in terms of color they have it in white in black and also in silver at the time that i'm recording this video i haven't seen them yet on the website i know they are limited quantities and actually boutiques are struggling a little not to get necessarily the coffrets but actually the refill so that makes it really hard for them to you know put together the entire coffret for you so you, because you're able to pick and that's something really exciting too you're able to customize your coffret so you're able to choose which refills you want which shades you want which i really appreciate that I think that is amazing and so special. Okay, my friends, let me tell you a little bit more about this lipstick before I jump into swatches. The case is inspired by the legendary Art Deco staircase in Coco Chanel's apartment at 31 Rue Cambon in Paris. And it is iconic. I mean, if you have been at the Rue Cambon location, you have seen this staircase with all and the glass and the mirrors. It just looks spectacular and is so grand. And in fact, if you go to most boutiques you can see the same architectural pattern in several boutiques from Chanel and as I mentioned before the packaging is refillable because it's meant to be passed down and that makes it a heirloom piece a collectible piece and something that personally I want to pass down to my two daughters okay friends <laughs> let's stop laughing right here I will tell you more about the lipsticks as we go along but let me show you first that unicorn of the 31 Le Rouge lipstick it is a satin formulation and this one is a shade number one Rouge Beige made in France with a 18 months shelf life now let's just slide it down uh, oh so beautiful the front and the back this is a very it's not a hard case it's a steel carton i wish it was perhaps made out of wood just something a little bit more substantial so that way i can also keep this piece knowing that it's not gonna you know get a stain mark but oh well on one side you have the chanel logo on the other side there is the cc logo and let's open it up oh my gosh I cannot wait for you to see it. The most expensive Chanel lipstick. Oh my gosh. Oh my. This is glass and this is heavy, heavy glass. Nothing that is like a paperweight. <laughs> it is a thick glass, but nothing that is extremely heavy. You have the gold trimming on the side, on the very top, your CC logo, and you can see the shade just like the Rouge Coco Flash or the Rouge Coco Blooms. It is also infused with the skincare ingredients like gardenia oil, maracuya oil, and micronized pigments that give a sheer mother of pearl effect. All in all, this lipstick is moisturizing, firming, and smoothing. Now, let me put this just for a second aside because you may be thinking okay so this comes just like this all along no that 195 dollar price tag it also includes something that is on this little box and that is a show to you a lipstick pouch with the iconic quilted pattern in this soft velvet like material it has a CC lock which is magnetic so that you may store your lipstick inside. 
its own little pouch and i appreciate this touch because this is such a special piece not only because the price but because it's glass you know it may get a scratch so having it in a very nice soft pouch i think it's ideal if you are not able to get the limited edition case now are these going to be limited edition no the refills are going to be there you're going to be able to purchase them at any point in time the only thing that is limited edition is the coffret okay jacqueline time for swatches Whoosh beige number one. And this is the lightest shade in the collection. As you can tell, it's a very nice nude tone. What I noticed is that the actual bullet is a lot more slimmer than, say, another lipstick from Chanel. This is a Rouge Allure. So, you see the difference? But do not be deceived because this... Rouge Allure, they come with three grams of product. Same thing with the uh, Rouge Coco Flash, the Rouge Coco Blooms, but the 31 Le Rouge lipstick comes with 3.3 grams. So it has a little bit more, even though it doesn't look like, because the shape, not necessarily the shape of the bullet, but how, well, yeah, in a way, how slim it is. And it has Chanel written from side to side. It looks so gorgeous. Now, finally, <laughs> the lipstick mm -hmm. I like the consistency it's not heavy this has a beautiful pearlized effect gorgeous oh my I love these kind of lipsticks I know you cannot see perhaps a lot of difference but it adds a certain glamour to the lips you see that pearlized effect and if you like boy from Chanel you're gonna love this shade it's gorgeous it does have that beautiful pearlized shade without having any glitter but it just gives that glow to the lips now it's not extra glossy or super super satiny but it looks wonderful <laughs> it looks so good it's exactly what I wanted it let me just swatch it right here do you see the shine love the shade do you see right there has that little pearly effect oh my gosh it looks beautiful let me swatch boy so that way you can have a reference on the shade love the shade boy is like super cool tone i feel that boy perhaps is more cool tone boy is also a lot more glossy do you see like it's more translucent too more cool tone but very much within that family. And let's swatch the Rouge Coco Bloom in Ease. This is from the fall collection. As you can tell, it's more warm in tone. Look how cool boy looks. And there's a little bit of a pink hue on Rouge Beige One from the 31 La Rouge lipstick. Now, it does feel very hydrating. But non heavy, no balmy like. It feels like a true lipstick, but with a very, very thin formulation. Obviously, this is a satin lipstick. I'm sure you need to reapply it. And in terms of how to exchange the refills, very simple. You just pull it out and that's it. And then put it back in. Seems like there is, yeah, there is a magnetic kind of closure in there. But there you have it, friends. This is Rouge Beige 1. Now, what I think about this formulation, well, it's not out of this world. Obviously, we have to see with time because it does have the skincare properties. It's supposed to smooth, to firm your lips after a while of using it and whatnot. What I can tell you is that it's super thin. I don't think it's gonna bleed outside my lips. The pigmentation is buildable. It has full opacity, meaning that it carries the shade throughout without being too concentrated on one side or nothing of that as you build it on i think this shade in particular looks amazing with cool tone eyeshadow looks too it is divine now what i think about the price 195 dollars for a lipstick okay it's not to excuse myself of nothing of that like i said this lunch is not for everybody in not not because it cannot be for everybody it's just you have to be a chanel lover you have to be a true 
collector of unique pieces from I mean it could be many brands or perhaps even a couple other luxury brands or just any brands in general I mean I remember vividly watching Lisa Elrich video I think she posted a couple years ago of her makeup collection and she has pieces that they are over I don't know like a hundred years old and when she was talking about each of the pieces you can tell her passion the knowledge that she has acquired with time learning about history of makeup and I think Chanel has made history in everything that has to do with fashion and beauty it is an iconic brand regardless of whatever people say Chanel is Chanel. I know they have sometimes their flaws, certain items perhaps like certain bags have not been like perfectly done, things have changed with time, but let's give it that they are iconic. Does it mean that I'm justifying paying $195 for a lipstick? No, it's not that. It's just that to me this is not for everybody. This is truly for collectors, someone that is going to appreciate it. Because if you have the idea, well, Jacqueline lost her marbles, you know, she went crazy, forget about it, and just telling us, go ahead and buy it. No, I'm not doing so because, again, this is just for you, the one that you are a collector, a lover of Chanel, that I'm sure that if you are, you have already contact your essay, you're already purchasing these lipsticks. They come in so many different shades and they look so beautiful. Would I get more shades? Like I said before, I'm actually on the waiting list for a coffre. That's what I want to get. And yes, I will get no matter what another lipstick because I want to have at least three lipstick case. One for me, one for my other two daughters. And even perhaps I will end up buying a couple other ones for my sisters, my mom, because I think this is just very, very special. What I think that they could have done a little bit better, I know this is glass, I know this is beautiful, but I would love to have seen something a little bit more unique in terms like perhaps have done a Murano glass, something extra special because is Chanel bringing us the most expensive lipstick? No, it is not. Actually, Dior this year they decided to kind of do the same thing i'm not saying that they are copying chanel or that chanel copied dior no nothing of that what they have decided in their creative minds it is dior is coming out with a limited edition lipstick case that is actually limited edition in all its words it's made out of porcelain and in fact the artisans that make this porcelain they have a heritage i think they used to make the porcelain plates for the queen i know so that is extremely unique they as well they are creating a unique piece to be passed to be a heirloom piece to be something so special i think this could be a beautiful gift for a bride i mean i'm thinking about all my brides right now because <laughs> i still have a lot of weddings to cater all the way to the end of the year and i'm thinking about my brides it's like they they need something like this they need something so special so they need something unique it's kind of like the cinderella glass slipper but in a lipstick <laughs> and i think it will be the perfect bridal gift and actually this whole theme of collecting certain pieces it reminds me i was invited to the grand opening of the chanel boutique in beverly hills a couple months ago and i bought this coffret and it was only available and unique to the beverly hills boutique that's why it has here beverly hills 2023 and it does have two unique shades of nail polishes that they are not available for sale like with the other nail polish shades same thing with the nail files and i haven't even used them just yet um i don't know why i should i really should but again this is another collector's piece and like i said i will definitely be getting that coffret also if you go to chanel's website i will be leaving all the links all the details of my makeup these lipsticks etc will be in the description box below but also on chanel's website you can virtually try each of the lipstick shades and i'm sure that will be super helpful for all of you to see the different shades okay my friends this makes 
it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it, that you find it helpful. Let me know if you're excited about this lunch from Chanel, if you are adding something onto your wish list, or you're adding some of them to cart immediately. Let's just continue that conversation on the comment section down below, what you added, and if you haven't done so yet, I would invite you to subscribe to my channel, make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. It would be incredible if you can come and follow me on my Instagram and TikTok. If you like this video, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, share with family and friends. And until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.